Okay, let's get it. Let's get to it. This is grand finals. Oh, Skittles is ready for that big money, dude. That's a big Jeez. money play. He took 10% and he like. <laughs> he was like button check, right? That was that was button check. <laughs> Skittles, man, maybe Skittles was taking a nap. He needs to wake up. Hey, he's like, yo, mods, that was a button check, right? <laughs> Covering that close to Waka after what just happened, I don't know. Skittles, you, you, I already knew Skittles were crazy though. We already knew that. On. Okay, yeah, One. tornado. Tornado feels for sure. Nice, good forward air. Really good opportunity for a Waka to respect the bomb there because if he had moved, Skittles is gonna rely on him just. Could be a backer. Nice. He slowly set himself up, but he gets grabbed. Yeah. Of course. Easy conversion into up air. I mean, that's. Walker had like such an amazing start. He still has the percent lead. I mean, a simple back air. Even a tornado will close out that stock. Continuing to maintain his lead. Skittle's going to have to make up for the uh, destructive play from Walker in the beginning. Yeah, I do like that Skittles takes a little bit of time on the Angel platform to kind of calm himself down and maybe effectively walk up. So we'll see how things go here. Nice, setting up the projectiles here, making sure Waka has to fight something. I, t I mentioned it earlier, I haven't seen anybody all night bait out that tornado. So many top players do that for a reason. They know that Luigi's love to land with tornado. You gotta bait that out. I mean, it's really... Oh, as simple as just throwing out an empty hop too. Exactly. It's it's not like a big mind play. No, it's just an empty hop. Yep, that's gonna be a big punish down throw. Up a couple up airs into a raw back air. Big damage from Waka. Yeah, seven eight percent here on Skittles. Good forward air. Gets a little bit of opportunity for the edge guard here. Misfire? Oh no, oh. But he's still stuck. So unfortunate for Waka, but still, Skittle. That was that was really the break that Skittles needed. Oh, nice. He set himself up to try to read an opportunity. Good for a back air or a tornado. Good empty hop for Waka. I thought that's what I'm talking about. You see him, Waka, empty hopping, man. You need to empty hop yourself. Using a tornado to combat the fire arrow. Yo, can I talk about? I was gonna say, can I talk about? I'm like, damn, he did not want that tornado anywhere near him. Yeah, just like that, look at the Skittles throwing with the wall of projectiles they've been continuing to throw out. Brought back the percent deficit. Yeah, Ooh. 77 to 110. Nice. Oh no. Oh, the falling tornado. I mean, I, I think I like out of all the Luigi's I've seen recently, the Waka is notorious for just releasing a down B in someone's shield. Yeah. Like, like, there's no falling, there's no defensive mechanic. He's just like, I'm here, and now I'm spinning. Yeah. That was good from Skittles. He wanted to, like, kind of, like, slowly approach Waka at the situation. He was well aware of Tornado and back air. He baited out the Tornado here, but he needed to move slowly away to avoid back air. And I feel like that's what Skittles is slowly, like, coming to. Good stuff from Waka, but taking game one, Skittles not too far behind. That's right, that's right. So, Waka... Coming from loser side, taking game one. But we did start to see an adjustment from Skittles. Like he was definitely remembering the, how he needs to put space between himself and Waka. Uh, continue to throw out a barrage of projectiles. Yeah. And remember the last time these these two played, uh, it was three one Skittles. Mhm. Mm so he knows what he needs to do. Skittle knows exactly where he needs to go that's underneath this platform <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i mean skittles had the right play here hold on to the bomb and if the bomb blows up in the middle of the combo that's gonna break the combo there but unfortunately like taking the percent would have been better to avoid being caught in the combo instead 
good damage coming from Skittles. I mean, it continues just to wreck up. But now Waka fighting his way back. Oh, Look at he that. is 85 damage. He took this man on for a ride. And that all started with a down air as he was falling, trying to land from being juggled by Skittles. Oh okay, no! Good air dodge, great DR from the grab. Ooh, yeah. Oh no! Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. But he had to regrab oh, the ledge. Yeah, he ain't good. <laughs> That's a dead young Link. Nice. The hit stun from the boomerang was enough to kind of stun him to go for the down air. Okay, more boomerang. And again, like we're starting to see Skittles take that position underneath these platforms, and he's backing up so. Even like full hops aren't an accessible approach for Waka. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. Close, close, close. Waka falling with his tornado again, but gonna get punished by a grab. I like that falling fireball. Oh, oh no. Another SD from Waka. Yeah. Unfortunate, but we know how Waka can slowly close the gap here. Gets a grab. This could be a kill here, but he doesn't get the sweet spot. He had the right idea. He even had the correct input. He just misspaced it. That was good. Man, he shot the arrow point blank range with no fear of the tornado there. It's pretty interesting, too. Like, we've seen that tornado eat up so many arrows. Yeah. Good play, though. You because... have a little bit of fear. <laughs> right? Okay, narrowing through the Zare and even attacking out a little bit of extra damage. Rising Dare, what Skittles? Yeah, that was a pretty good play. I'm looking here a little bit on my instant, like my delayed stream replay, I would call it. Slowly coming out here. It was a really good opportunity where Skittles went for a few forward air, and then he decided to stop after the third one, come back on the stage, take stage control. That's kind of the things I kind of want to see from Skittles here is the, the amount of stage control he can come back and avoid getting hit by Tornado or avoid overextending because Luigi punishes overextensions. See, so looking back at it here, he did a really good job spring and he had Waka a little bit more towards the ledge. That was good. He converted that off of Fire Arrow into the downer of the platform and it was all from the pressure that he put on Waka, putting him at the corner. Skittles demonstrated some pretty good youngling play, I would say. And I think that's like the one MVP I would say for Skittles. It isn't so much Fire Arrow, it's his use of Boomerang. That's true. I mean, Boomerang is definitely a great friend of Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Shout out to that old commercial, man. Don't they still say that? Yeah, they still do. But like, there was an old one where it was just like, just say Skittles, taste the rainbow, and that was it. Now they go like, feel the rainbow, be the rainbow, and then taste the rainbow. Oh no! And Don't another ask... explosive start for Waka. Don't SD explosive like the rainbow. Explosive to SD. Waka's like, see, I don't even need to grab you to get the stock off. Skittle just needs to do a little bit better job of retaining this first stock. Nice. Landing with the first hit of forwarder for a little bit of a drag right there. Good pressure on the shield there with an empty hop there, I might add. If he had read the jump on Waka, that forwarder would have killed. That's true. Here we go, more tornado. It looked like a Skittles even got pushed in with the wind box. Yeah. I uh, he was actually going for a little bit of a roll. Skittles is doing really good. He was Order. Nice. Goes for downer instead. Really good play. Does take yeah. dealer's choice style points. I can see it. This is something that I've seen Toast do a lot. Going for downer. Nice. Good forward out of shield. Oh, he went a little bit. He overextended there. Yeah, I thought the. I know you like when you're down. You definitely want to make players, but it might have been smarter just to set up the list traps. I feel like list trapping is just so strong in this game. I was gonna say we haven't seen Skittles go for enough list trapping. I would say at times. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, especially like even something simple. Whoa! All right, boomerang definitely Skittle's best friend. But oh, yeah, yeah, like even something simple as like short hop nair at the ledge. Exactly. We see him going all over. I'm just saying Luigi extension and that Skittles. Nice. Okay, well, there's another boomerang. Only able to pick up a fire after it, but at the same time backing up. Look at that casual walk back. No cares given about that tornado. Always oh, gotta watch out for the back air. Walk up slowly, looking to set it up. Mm -hmm. Even letting the up smash rip too. Walk it definitely looking for this kill. Oh, that was good. That was good. He got away. He. That was a back air or a tornado here. Now 161. One of them will. But here comes those ledge traps from Waka. You know, he's reaching with those F tilts, checking with down tilts. Okay, yeah, that's gone. Yeah, Skittles didn't have a boomerang in play or a bomb throw. I'm surprised he actually didn't try to go bomb throw or a boomerang from the ledge. Just to force Waka to try to shield it or come up with a pretty big play from ledge. That would have been a good one. Yeah, I respect it from Skittles. Do, something you can do um, that most players won't expect you to do is actually go for a re grab when you're going. Like when you need to buy yourself a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. But Waka definitely wasn't going to fall for that because he just kept continuing to throw out F tilts and down tilts, even if uh, invulnerability was like online. Look at that, he's still throwing them out. Ooh. Gotta be careful. Nice. Bomb toss into the down air. Skittles looking for a chance to come back. It's 1 1. This is, I wouldn't say this is game point, but this is definitely a deciding point here. Oh. And there's that up smash. No DI, I want to say. he had. I don't think he, he was expecting to get hit by it. I mean, he yeah. ran up his shield. He got shield poked by the up smash. I'm uh, telling you, man. Luigi is a crook. Yeah, right now he's stealing you away from your hot meal. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> Waka just wants me to eat this burrito cold. He's like, yo, man, I want sweet, sweet pride and my little bit of a payout. You got a cold burrito. I got the W here, man. <laughs> Who's getting the W? I don't know. So I mean, it, essentially both these players, man, making fancy cold food. <laughs> fancy it's cold food. Everybody wins. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, going into game four, I mean, Waka is really one game away from resetting the bracket, taking us into the second set of grand finals. Okay, landing a couple forward airs. The Luigi missile connecting onto Skittles. Oh, oh, that's right. That was close. Yeah. This is the first. I just forgot about how uh, how high Young Link's recovery is. Oh, misfire point blank. Still alive here, Skittles, holding onto the stock. Oh, yeah, that was a tornado that high up. No way you're surviving. That was a good attempt, though, because he wanted to hit him with downer on the way back down to try to challenge that tornado. But a tornado came out first. I'm just saying, man, some unpaid intern designed. Designed what? Designed Luigi in general. <laughs> like some unpaid intern at Nintendo. Like, that's just my. Tinfoil hat theory. <laughs> I think it was some some younger brother that always got I always got green Mario when they was playing Mario Brothers with his family. Probably he's like, you know what in this game, Luigi's gonna be great. That's right, Luigi pretty much is a grappler from traditional fire. That's a great point. Uh, Airs Wimmer. I've never seen Zangief, dude. I'm the best friend. I don't actually. Can't see. Even in Grand Blue Fantasy, Ladiva upsets me. <laughs> I hate that character so much. Up the other shield. Nice. Up air. Nice. Nope. He kind of Ray DI from Waka. He's going to make sure that he doesn't go straight up. As long as you don't DI in, you should be able to avoid that up air after the up B. Yeah, and that was good from Skittles. He didn't go for the up air immediately. So good on the holding of the bomb there on the shield. 
Do some that explosion. Yeah, but I think that that bomb might have actually worked out for Waka because it allowed Skittles to not get as hard of a punish. But still, Skittles able to clean up. Yeah, I mean for Skittles, he didn't really want. I don't think he was looking for the punish there too. I felt like he wanted him out of. And by him holding the shield and not you know risking the jump out of shield or being red out of shield, the bomb helped out a lot. Oh, oh. What? that's one of the rare instances I actually see that happen. Okay, back air. We're starting to see more Zares covering the ledge, but pivot grab is not going to work for Waka. And spin and win as Waka does, bringing the stocks to a 1-1. I like the timing from Skittles on the on the bomb. He said he was you know, taking himself out of that percent for to be mm. combo food. Now, again, standing at the ledge, standing here in these platforms, forcing Waka to approach that movement. That was sick. Nice, I'll be out of shield. Safe play here. Nice. Yeah, Good empty Walker hop up, knows. finally. Waka knows how to DI this. He knows as long as he doesn't DI in, he should be good. No free follow ups. And for Skittles, it's up to him to understand when Waka's gonna go for aerial tornado at the ceiling. Ooh, getting chopped. Yo, he hit him at the starting frames. That was close. Woo! Horrible Ooh. position, but the tornado comes in clutch, stopping the hero spin from Skittles. He almost had him. That was death. That was death. He had that the hero was spin. definitely death. I mean, both these players have, have seemingly cheated death already. This is a, that was a situation. Where, okay, he got him. He got him. That was a situation, though. Like you said earlier, from Z. Um, he went for Nair once as an edge guard setup, but he's not going for bigger edge guard setups. He could have had a bomb. He could have had a boomerang, and then gone for the Nair. You know, three things to have out there and play against Waka. And like you said, Z Fly, you've only seen him go for Nair. So, yeah, but now Skittles taking the W in game four. Vance, we're going to a game five. Let's not go to game 10 now. <laughs> well, hold on, man. It wouldn't be MSM without game 10. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm knocking on the You know the rules, man. MSM, game 10. I'm knocking on wood, man, because my table is made out of wood. I don't know what mine's made out of. Plywood or something? <laughs> I got mine in Ikea, so I know it's like some kind of wood. Some kind of MDF wood mix-up, I don't know. Alright, yeah, chat. Let's give it up for whatever player you want to win. You want to see five more games? Give it up for Waka. Or do you want to see Skittles take the W right now? Become MSM Online number two champion? If you want to see Vance get a conventional oven and heat up his burrito? Is... Alright, anyways, let's get back to the game here. <laughs> oh, this could be an explosive star, but this time Skittles is walking away from it. It's true, we're starting to see the trades. Both these players trading multiple times. Okay, okay! Ooh, that's death. That's um... That's not death. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if that was a misfire. Yeah, same. That was close. You know, this is the first time we've seen Skittles open up with... I mean, he has been, like, slowly improving his starts. I mean, he got kind of blown up on the first game. Second game, I believe it was uh, an SD. That might have been the second stock. But yeah, like slowly he's been coming back. Look at this off aggressive off stage play. Yeah, from he was able to get Luigi, and he even went for the ton too. He was like, you know what? That was for you, Waka. Dang. Okay, he should have his no, second he jump. Though, yeah, so he he's good. Recover. But did you see what Waka went for? He went for the coin gimp. Yeah, he did. He tried to take that money, the money and the life. I'm telling you, bro, he's a crook. Good shield for Waka though. He can punish him afterwards, and he knew that. Oh, Waka getting a little overzealous with that tornado now. I think that's actually like spaced out correctly though, because I think if you fall off, then you don't get the recovery frames. So it's still a pretty smart option for Waka. Good stuff on Skittles though. He's very careful every time he's at the corner. Oh, getting oh. the drag down. 
he wanted the drag down too, it would have been good for him. I'm not one to take the stock, but he doesn't get the hit. I mean that being up a being up a stock means that you get to take those risks and still be somewhat safe. Good for Skittles. He knows he's at 14%, so he can actually <gasps> The wind box puts Skittles off. This is gonna be a lot of down tilt, so he's not gonna be able to make it back! No. <laughs> the wind box coming in clutch for Waka! I could be a little bit more careful with directional air dodging to, to the ledge, especially if Walker's going to be throwing a lot of down Bs out. Oh, most definitely. You have there's, to there's a Nair. That. There's that Nair ledge trapping we were talking about. We just need to see a little bit more with that. And with, you know, essentially this being what could possibly be the last stock of the tournament, you know, Skittles really needs to bring out all the tools, all the tricks. Shambles. Every kid chat, can I get a shambles in the chat, please? To, oh, to get bodied. And Waka resets the bracket. Can I get a shambles in the chat for Vance's food? <laughs> Let me get some Fs for Vance's food. Some shambles, please. <laughs> shambles. <laughs> Just like, oh, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> When we, when we pay out Waka, he's only going to get half the payment. He's going to be like, what happened to the other half? I was like, yeah, man, compensation for Vance. <laughs> man. I've... Tornado definitely is the MVP of that set. It pushed off Skittles. Push Skittles off the stage with the win box. I'm telling you guys, Luigi is a crook. I think Vance wants to see like a hamburger Luigi. <laughs> I do. I barely, I, you know what's funny? I barely missed that. I almost missed that era of McDonald's. Like the Hamburglar, what is it? Grimace? Grimace. Yeah, Grimace and the Hamburglar and the forgettable I, girl who was there. I don't even remember. Dang. We it was like your wife? That's, that's messed up, Floppy. Y'all got some stories about what Luigi did, y'all. What Luigi did this? Who hurt you? <laughs> Telling you, man, Luigi is the real villain. You want to know how Bowser keeps stealing Princess Peach? Luigi is in on it. I'm telling you, man. How does he do it? It's Luigi. He unlocks the door. He unlocks the door. I'm telling you, man. I could see it. Bowser just slips him a big old 20 and he's like, just leave the door. I'll do my <laughs> magic. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Inside Man Conspiracy. I'm telling you, man. Luigi has been on it. <laughs> okay, well here we go. The final set of the night. Grand final set number two. Waka and Skittles. Now we're starting we see a much less explosive start from our players. Yes, we are. <laughs> Bit of a change here. Uh, uh, you know, I'm curious. Why, why the change? I was really into the explosive starts. I feel like it's mostly because, like, you know, a little bit of an adaptation from Skittles now in Waka, but like, Skittles has been very, very, like, aware of how to get away from, you know, Waka's grab combos now. And also, like, he's been doing an excellent job of slowly baiting out Tornado. Wow, man, there's these offstage oh. combos again, this aggression from Skittles, as much as I'd love to see it, it's cost him stocks! I think he's lost more stocks than he's actually taken from Waka. Yeah. 
especially with that i mean you talked about it earlier right being off stage is really good for skittles but at times dude it's just holding on to the stage especially when you know you have so much stage control it, Especially with the lead. Oh, that was close. Nice gets a grab. Simple combo here. Down tilt to forward air. Yeah, only at 66%. Thinking if maybe that up B would have killed. I want to say it would have, but uh, it's really close. Yeah, forward air. Nice bomb toss there. And it's going to drop way back down and stop Waka from coming back slowly. I mean, I think Waka was kind of... Banking on that though. I mean, oh, I'll no. say this: Skittles has been doing a great job of throwing the bomb so that it falls with Waka, or it rushes him wherever he is off stage. Uh, but I think Waka's really adjusted to using it to his advantage. Yeah, I would definitely say he's yeah. He, he really really recognized that big problem right here again. I'm seeing from Skittles, like I said, going off stage really really good. But he had so much stage control there. He had no reason to really dip that low. Yeah, still a great movement. Uh, Skittles able to clean up, bring these stocks even. And now Waka sitting at a 76%. Boomerang into Nair. And now Waka finds himself left side of the stage, really getting pummeled. Yeah, C so drop with a bomb. Okay, Skittles playing the slow and conservative game here. He's not really overextending. He's more of just so like, okay, let me slowly work up to my confirm. I got him at 126. And look at the position that uh, we're starting to see Skittles take. Now, the previous sets, we saw him like post up underneath the platforms, wait for Walker to approach. But now he's being a little bit more mobile. He's still throwing out a lot of projectiles and being, waiting to be in position to convert from these projectiles. Yep, and you can see that big old grin on Link as soon as he gets that down air, puts the sword away, rubs the dirt right. off his hands and gets the first point here. Skittles, game one of the reset. We, we were <laughs> able to see how Walker was able to overcome like the, the fortress that Skittles was posted up in. Mm -hmm. when he was like hiding underneath platforms and throwing projectiles but now that he's being more mobile and trying to it's going to be a little bit more difficult for waka i feel like he's going to have to commit to tornado a little more just to deal with those projectiles that are coming at him he was doing tornado enough as it is yeah and what we saw last set is that like slowly skittles had made that adaptation against Tornadoes. He was like empty hopping, baiting them out, trying to see if he was going to go forward or not. Like, he was doing an excellent job of just understanding Waka's tornado plays. Yeah, even look at the start of this game. Typically, we see them like both running at each other, Waka uh, looking for grabs, Skittles trying to approach with fire arrows. And this one, they pretty much didn't move. They just checked to see what the other person was going to do. Yeah. Alright, Nair to punish the tornado. Nice couple bomb plays there, and that got pretty much skittles to get walk up to 98% here. Nice, jumps out of the shield there. Very, very cautious around the grab. Okay, another dash attack oh. on Waka. Even using the bomb against Skittles. Yo, he just took he just I was gonna say he just went all the way to 99% off being off stage, and I'm telling you, I understand the off stage plan from Skittles here, but being on stage can be just as important as being off. Okay, launching a few fire arrows at Waka. Now throwing Waka off stage. Nice, try to bait out a jump to get up, or maybe even. Nice. Okay. okay. There we go. These are the these are the tools I want to see at the ledge. Exactly. He he forced Waka to go for a grab and kept them there. Not necessarily all the way at the ledge, but kept them on the left side of the stage. Yeah, falling the, uh, up air mm -hmm. and into another up air. Just continue to shark Waka, and that's going to close out a first stock for Skittles. 
back throw. Oh no, it's supposed for the down throw. I was gonna say he might have been going for a down throw mix. Simply because, you know, at that situation, Skull's gonna be DIing for the back throw. That was gonna be DIing for the back throw. Like, the big blast zones of Battlefield. Probably gonna keep Skulls alive with no rage. Yeah. So that was a good mix up. Takes his time off stage. Nice. Goes for that long Zero. Using the bomb and the shield hold to kind of, you know, see if Waka's gonna try to go for an approach. Shield would have broke that. few more fire arrows getting launched Waka's way. Nice. He was really cautious if he went for a roll get up. He did not want to get punished for that. But the tornado there takes a stop. 2-2 two, two apiece. I mean, this is only game two here, but these people are fighting for the pride. Yeah, remember, it's not game two. This is game seven. Oh, yeah. Technically there's, been seven, a, right. there's been a lot of adjustments made. There's been some tech that has been thrown at both players. Game 7, set 2, game 2. Don't know what I mean. Downer there, 90%, 56 to Skittles here. Nice, a little bit of pressure there with the bomb. Oh, oh no. no. Wait, it's too... Oh, uh, yeah, no. If he had the bomb, he might have had a chance, but... I don't know, that 6-second timer is kind of brutal. Yeah, that's true. I think it went down from 4, I'm not sure. Okay, a couple of nares onto Waka's shield, and there we go, Waka's swinging. Oh, I was gonna say that would have been close to death. At 21%, that would have been not nice for Skittles. Mm -hmm. Skittles definitely trying to make up uh, for mistakes that happen. Up smash. That'll make up for it. Alright, jab crossing up Skittles and then up B onto Waka Shield. Oh, he barely got away from that up B too. Oh, that was close. See, I'm starting to see that Waka's like not going for back airs anymore after that down throw, so I kind of want to see him like slowly. But I totally understand, he might be seeing that for like DI mix ups. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you know, we're starting to see less of that movement that we saw earlier uh, in the previous game from Skittles. He's definitely slowing down. Yeah. Okay, try to land with the falling back. More <gasps> nice. fire arrows. Nice. As soon as he got the chance, he's slowly pushing the advantage. I mean, that's the pinnacle of like getting a pick and then pushing aggressive. Two O Skittles. I want to call out the, the the Valorant play, dude. Like you know, when you finally kill the opponent's team, they just short one more man. You go in and you go for the kill. Uh, I don't know that because I don't have Valorant. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's okay, bro. Let's like see us go. Don't worry about it. We and I both know the real game is Legends of. The real game is what? Legends of Runeterra. Oh, yeah, it's a great game. Ready? I'm assuming you guys talking about Nebraska. So, oh, Skittles is from Nebraska. No idea. The name sounded familiar. I just couldn't put, you know, two and two together. Yeah, and now it's Waka. Uh, really, he needs to reverse 3 0 Skittles if he wants to become the MSM Online 2 champion. And wow, we're starting off with taunt kills? He's going for it already? I mean, we've seen Waka go for it before, but he was always like up quite a bit. Taunt kills are always good and flashy, but they really, really, really throw your opponent's mentality, you know. Getting hit by that really hurts. Okay, there's a Zare drop. Or a Z drop from from Skittles with the bomb. Yeah, and I want I'm, I'm really happy we're seeing that more now. Wow, catching a B. Oh, that would have been a good up B situation there, but I respect the forward air and Waka loses the stock for the tornado. Skittles pretty sure a little bit happy off that. A little bit of a few seconds to breathe with the bomb. Yep. Up air. Nice. Good back air. Skittles definitely feeling himself right now. 
124% falling up airs from Waka. And here we go again. We know the name of the game. It's gonna be Skittles throwing out projectiles. Waka having to deal with it. By taking 80% along the way. That was good up smash out of shield. He's got Waka at 99. Definitely Skittles. Pretty happy with this lead. I mean, hopefully he doesn't, you know, just SD. Yeah, no SDs from Skittles, but Tornado still going to do the same damage. Nice, kind of slowly buying his time by throwing those bombs down. Okay, dash attack. There we go. Skittles. I mean, typically we've seen him just like blow himself up so he doesn't have to worry about getting grabbed. But now, uh, Waka with the dash attack going to put Skittles outside that window. Look at that, 61%. Where did it even come from? I was going to say, it came a little bit from him getting dash attack, a little bit of a couple interactions there at the ledge. Oh, Especially tornado. tornado. Yeah. More, 16 more percent. Just got to watch out. What are you, where were you going for, Waka? Do you want a misfire? Could be, a, I was going to say, he might be going for a tornado here. He's been slowly misleading that tornado for a good reason. I was. He's got the bomb, yep, and he gets another up though. Can he come back on the stage? Yes. Dale has enough time for Legend Invincibility. Skittles taking his time. Well, he knows. <laughs> he threw out a taunt. He asked the fairy, what should he do? <laughs> he knows, man. You just asked this fairy for the magic wish that could be the next stock, and you might just well, win MSM online here, but Skittles has something to say about it. 75%. This has become Skittles' game to lose, because we know if Luigi gets that grab. That's true. I mean, Skittles definitely still in that percent window. You know... That's what that's what Walker's going for, but oh, maybe, there you like, okay, there he goes. Uh, it may have been that Skittles was actually like trying to bait Waka into it. Oh, we almost saw like a bomb extension mm -hmm. from from Skittles' own bomb. No, that was good from Skittles because he held the bomb really, really well in case he did get hit by it a little bit. The bomb would have definitely took him out. That was so overzealous. I don't like that toss to forward air, but the up air with double fire arrow will take it. And ladies and gentlemen, Skittles is your msm online number two champion all the way from nebraska can i get a nebraska hype chat 